She looks at the rhythm and identifies that a rhythm that she can do a synchronized cardio version on. She has VTAC on there. All the rhythms that you can do is polymorphic VTAC. This is monomorphic VTAC. You can also do atrial fib RBR, atrial flutter RBR, and PSVT, SVT would be ones that if they were unstable, which includes hypotension, altered mental status, diaphoresis, chest pain, uh, impending doom, that we could do a synchronized cardio version on. She did this assessment, she's got her BSI, and she's gonna explain the procedure to the patient as she's putting the, the shock pads on. She already has her three lead on. If she was doing a manual defibrillation with pads, she would put a conductive gel on there. She's gonna to go to her defibrillator and hit the sync button. The sync button has to be pressed on this, otherwise it's a defibrillation. She's gonna select appropriate energy, and for this is 100. And typically now, America, New American Heart Association standards state starting at 100 joules for all of our synchronized um, cardio versions. She notes the marker on the screen, marking the R waves. Now she's gonna charge. Clear the patient. And she's gonna hold down the buttons until it shocks. Not, and then she would reassess and assess the need to re-cardiovert.